Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another edition of being a sports talk. So every couple of months I sit down and reflect on um, you know, how my channel has been and where it's going, um, where, where it's coming from, where it's going. And I feel like I'm in a good spot here. I, I have a couple of video ideas, some scripted ideas that I'm working on currently. I'm working on to finish that two part of the Sam Darnold thing. I'm also, I have a couple of scripts starting to write about other narratives and things like that. I have this BNA uh, Giants talk that I'm looking to start up every Thursday. It's going to be like a 20 to 30 minute video. I'm also looking to sprinkle in a little more Giants content here and there. Because that's what I know best. That's what I'm motivated in. I'm trying to get all my thoughts. This is like the fifth time I'm recording uh, this sort of thing. Don't worry. We're going to get into an actual topic. Uh, I'll put like the link of when the actual video starts. But I, I want for all of you watching to... I want to get my thoughts out too. To either look back in a couple months or kind of get my thoughts out there to tell the loyal fans like what, what they're, they're expecting. So from now on, Giants Talk on Thursday... Um, then BNA Sports Podcast on Fridays. That's gonna be my you know podcast. My uh, during the NFL season, I'm gonna do NFL Football Weekly, and then more towards the off season. I may sprinkle in a couple more BNA Sports podcasts before the season ends. Um, the the ones where I just kind of do some random segments because I have some fun segments built up, and I feel like the format of BNA Football Weekly is kind of limiting me just a little bit. And then obviously I have some videos sprinkled in like. Uh, I wanted to make a video this week why the Dallas Cowboys will beat the Patriots. I, I made a vi- you know, made some videos why the the Ravens are gonna lose to the Browns. Why the Patriots can beat the Patriots. Uh, the Ravens, the Patriots. The Ravens can beat the Patriots. And those I'm two for two in those types of videos. So I want to do more of that, like analyzing, deep diving, because um, that's what I like. I, I sometimes don't like too much formatting, but here's my, like my loose schedule. Um, yeah. So and 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 uh, I'm. I'm a runner. I run like 50 to 60 miles a week. And I want to restart my BNA running podcast thing. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I may just make it as like a solely a podcast. I may upload some of them to YouTube. But basically, the gist of it is I run. We talk for, you know, 8 to 10 minutes. And that's pretty much it. It's like um, a chill thing. So it can motivate people to run. If you're running, if you're working out, either or. Um, maybe if you're just sitting at home, want to hear a guy like, breathe heavily in footsteps. I feel like it can be like a conversation, and we have some interesting topics that we're going to discuss there about my life. We may have some like special topics about different things, and it'll be, it's like my form to vent a little bit. So that's going to be every week, or probably every other week, starting. And I think that's like an interesting idea. I've always thought it was, but I want to keep that avenue open, and I I, I enjoy doing those. I, rec- I enjoy recording those. I'm recording a couple of them, but I just haven't uh, posted them. Because I don't know how to. But anyway, let's get into the topic of the video, which is the Giants. I'm going to talk a little bit more Giants. Because uh, my video, yeah, well, th- on Thursday, it was a little bit out of date. Um, There's some Giants news. So there are like three main stories. So first of all, Pat Shermer said, let's go out and win this game. And I know some people made it into like a big deal. Like, what do you mean win? The- well, why were you trying to win now? That That's just saying, hey, we need to get some momentum towards the end of the season. You know, it, like last year, we won some games. We're like, oh, there's hope for the future. You know, it, like Leonard Williams, if he sees like, oh, this is like a dead end, he's not going to resign with us. That's what that, that's why he took a risk. Jadavion Clowney, he signed with the Seahawks. If they weren't winning, he'd be like, oh, I'm going to get out of here. So we're trying to keep on to those players, keep them motivated, and make them not want to go out. Because we had a lot of those times in the in the past, like Landon Collins, Eli Apple. It's just like, oh, yeah. We didn't really want them to stay here. We have to make a, a great culture, a winning culture. And, you know, Daniel Jones has done that. He He's had shown spurts. It's like, oh, we just need to play good for Daniel Jones. And it's like, oh, he's getting better. He's only going to be getting better. I know the fumbling issue. I understand. It's a big deal. But... You know, he, he he reminds me a lot of uh, Peyton Manning in that first year where he just struggled a lot. And, you know, he, it, it always it, it ends up working out. It, it ends up working out sometimes. Uh, Pat Schirmer is a good offensive coach. We should keep him, help him for the development. I, I, you, you guys know my opinion. I don't like, I don't think Pat Schirmer is a motivating guy. I listen to him and I'm not inspired. We have to stick with Daniel Jones. And usually the guy after the guy isn't successful. You know, it's rare when we you get a you get a Aaron Rodgers after a Brett Favre. You know, the the Patriots they're looking for their Jimmy Garoppolo after their Tom Brady. I mean, we'll see what happens there, but it's rare that you go from one Hall of Famer to the next. I mean, Ben Roethlisberger wasn't replacing anybody, so yeah, it's it's its own thing. But the, also another thing in the news, Saquon Barkley said, "I need to have fun," 
And this was kind of concerning uh, in the beginning, like, wait, you weren't having fun before. So then I thought a little bit more into it, and I was thinking, so last year, he didn't really have to take a, a huge leadership position. I know he was, like, second overall, but you had Odell, who was doing his own thing. There's a lot of just chaos in a way. It was like we had leaders on defense with Landon Collins. He was trying to take a leadership role. Then you had, like, Alec Ogletree, Olivier Vernon. It was a bunch of just, like, me guys in a way. Uh, you know, Eli Manning was trying to be, he, he was doing his own thing. He was quiet. It felt like that team last year was very disconnected. But this year feels like everybody's coming more together. You have Golden Tate who came to this team saying, you know what, he was like hugging the Giants. There's a picture of him hugging the Giants helmet. Like, I love the Giants. I want to play here. And that's what we need. We need players who want to play for us. We have some homegrown roots thing now. We have uh, Corey Ballantines who got shot. We have Darius Slayton who was like the sixth round pick. So we have some good draft draft depth right now we do you know we have ryan conley coming back we have a bunch of players like that a bunch of youth a couple years ago we just had a bunch of kind of old guys that are kind of doing their own thing kind of taking leadership roles kind of individuals now it feels like we're a little bit more of a team obviously we have injuries to sterling Shepard and evan ingram that are concerning like perennially injured come on like a um I'm going to get to the story later, but before we get to that, Saquon Barkley, he's like, I want to have more fun. So now he was trying to be the leader of this team in the beginning of the year. He's like, I'm going to help Daniel Jones out. But I think now he sees, you know what, Daniel Jones is the leader on this team, especially that Tampa Bay game. You know, it showed like Daniel Jones. Well, that was his first game. Like Daniel Jones is going to be a leader on this team. Saquon Barkley was trying to help Daniel Jones out. He was trying to be uh, this motivational factor to help the team. But he's like, no, I just want to play ball. Uh, he 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 said that without saying. He's like, you know, what? I try to take a leadership role on this team. I'm the number two overall pick. There's a lot of weight on that. There's a whole bunch of weight on that, and you know, millions and millions of dollars. And now Daniel Jones is the guy, and he realizes that. So he's like, you know what? I'm gonna step back. I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna uh, make my blocks. He's feeling a little bit healthier now. I don't think he was feeling that healthy. He was a little worried too much about the team's success rather than his own his own good. Like he was he was putting his body on the line. He's like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna just do my own thing. I'm I'm gonna step back, let Daniel Jones do his thing, help you know, help him out as much as possible. But I'm gonna take a little bit of a step back here. I'm not gonna try to be a leader. I'm not gonna try to make the home run play because he he was trying to spin. He was trying to do all these things. He's like, I'm gonna take what the defense gives me, and I'm gonna have some fun. You know, I I don't really care. He he doesn't really care about winning at this point. He's like, you know what? We already lost the season. Let me just focus on me, and let's let's bring. Let's let's get some momentum here. Let's not try to get the home run every single time. Let's just try to get this offense flowing and moving. And I think that's a good move. Uh, I really do think that's a good move. Obviously, he's injured. He's not really blocking that well. And, he, you know, he was, he was trying his best. And now, now he's just like, let's... Let's go back to the fundamentals. Let's go back to everything. He's like him and he felt like him and Daniel Jones had to take on the world. He's like, now we have no pressure. Let's just play. And uh, I think that's a good thing for now. Anyway, and uh, my last story, Ben McAdoo. Um, we're not running out of time here, but it's a little bit long. Uh, ben McAdoo apparently wanted Patrick Mahomes. was banging on the table. Was like, we need to take Patrick Mahomes. First of all, do I believe it was like that bad? I'm not sure. I really don't. Um... But imagine we had Patrick Mahomes. That's what I'm like. I'm, I'm not really here to speculate whether or not. Like, let's patch. Imagine we had Patrick Mahomes. So I was thinking about it. I'm like, okay, we didn't have Evan Ingram. We didn't need. Probably needed a tight end. But we had. Uh, a, we had Will Ty, I think, back then. Uh, we we always the Giants always seem like we have decent enough tight ends. But tight end in the first round. I mean, we can get a tight end anywhere. I mean, Gronkowski was drafted like 45th. You know, Jimmy Graham was drafted in the third round. So I mean. You know, tight ends aren't really found in the first round. You know, you have, obviously, T.J. Hawkinson and Noah Fant, I guess. That's, those are, like, anomalies. But imagine we had Patrick Mahomes. So, you would have had Odell, Patrick Mahomes, which this offense would have been legit. And the offensive line here isn't much worse than the Chiefs. And uh, we would have had Ben McAdoo. I'm not sure how good he'd been developing uh, Patrick Mahomes. But he, he liked... He was from the Green Bay Packers, which meant that he worked with Aaron Rodgers a lot, which people say he reminds me of him a lot of Patrick Mahomes. So... That could have been a thing, you know. Again, you know, deep routes. You had, had uh, Odell Beckham. Who else did we have at the time? Did we? Have, we did we have Victor Cruz? I think we brought him back for the 2017 or a bit of it. But you know, we would have had a bunch. We would have had Sterling Shepard, Odell. Um, obviously not Saquon yet, but that had been legit. That would have been so much fun. And then we would have probably, you know, got a decent offensive line. Um, you know, Dave Gettleman wouldn't have drafted 
a bad offensive. He wouldn't have gotten the Nate Solder. He probably gotten a better offensive lineman with Jerry Reese or something like that. Maybe I don't know. I I don't really have hope in Jerry Reese, but all of that, I, I'm just think like I, I don't really have that, that much analysis. But that'd have been great. I, I think it would have been great. I don't know. Daniel Jones can turn out to be really good. I like the option of Patrick Mahomes over Daniel Jones. I'm probably taking Patrick Mahomes. Um, obviously, we would have had trouble surrounding him with, you know, running back talent. We didn't really have a good running back at the time. Um, I forget who was running back. I think we had, like, a combination of, like, Rashad Jennings and uh, a couple other, like, I think we had per- Paul Perkins, who the Lions are trying to figure out how to use, and uh, Orleans Darkwa. Yeah, Orleans Darkwa. Anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought of anything we discussed. Do you think Patrick Mahomes would have gotten us to uh, the playoffs at least last year or something like that? Uh, Everything and anything, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.